Hey everyone, I'm really excited to bring you a cream of mushroom soup today. It's something warm and savory, it's really good for the fall, it's tasty, and it's also one of the main ingredients that we're going to be using for the broccoli and cheese casserole that you, a lot of you are looking for, which I'll do in a separate video. But for today, it's just going to be the cream of mushroom soup. It's going to be the best cream of mushroom you've ever had. I mean, forget about the cans. This is going to be awesome. And if you love mushrooms and you like cream of mushroom, stay with me because you're really going to love this. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up one medium of an uh, onion. And I'm going to do these in pretty good sized chunks. So after I get it sliced like such, I'm just going to quarter it. So it doesn't have to be pretty. I like onions, so it's just going to be a rough chop. I have the onions all chopped, and I'm going to put those aside just for now. And we're going to look at the mushrooms. I've got about 20 ounces of mushrooms. I've got a blend of different ones, like I've got some shiitake, I've got some oyster mushrooms, I've got baby bellas. I've also got some sliced white mushrooms. And normally I like to slice them myself, but this is really all they had at the market today, and uh, they were on sale, so I said, why not? And I've got some portobello um, that I'm going to chop. So I'm just going to roughly chop these up and make sure they're nice and clean, and I'm going to put those in a bowl and set them aside. Now I've got the mushrooms all chopped up, and we are ready to start cooking. So I've got two large pans set aside, two large Dutch ovens, only because there's so many mushrooms, and once they cook, they'll break down, but I'm going to start off with two. I've got about a tablespoon of butter in each one, and in one I'm going to throw the onion in, and I'm just going to saute this until it starts becoming a little bit translucent. It's over medium-high heat. And um, I don't think it'll take more than four or five minutes. Now this one here, as it's heating up, I'm going to start with some of the mushrooms on this one. And only because I like it, I'm going to add just a little bit of black pepper to these onions. This one here, we're going to start with some of the mushrooms. I'd say about half of them. And you can also spray some of these. Uh, I use uh, garlic olive oil spray. Just to coat it a little bit. And we'll come back once these onions have softened a little bit. As the onions are getting a little bit translucent, I'm going to add about two or three cloves of, cloves of garlic. One, two, three. I'm using the liquid, liquefied garlic paste because it lasts I love garlic, so it lasts a lot longer in the fridge for me. And you can see some of the fluid in here start uh, accumulating. That's okay. You can add a little bit of salt, and that'll help release some of that liquid. So anyway, I've got the garlic and the onion in here, and I'm going to add the rest of the mushrooms into this pot. And eventually, when this breaks down, I'm going to combine the two pots into this one. 
So I'm going to hit it with a little bit more garlic spray. And I'm also going to add just a splash of Worcestershire. Well, we're talking maybe about a tablespoon into each one. And we'll come back once we've got all these cooked down and I'm ready to combine. Now, these aren't completely cooked down yet. These here. But what I'm going to do is, I think it's reduced enough where I can transfer the onions, garlic, and the mushrooms all into this one pan now. Before they just wouldn't have fit. Mmm. We're just going to let those mushrooms continue to cook for a while. Well, it looks like it's pretty much cooked down the way I want it. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of thyme. I like to use fresh thyme, but I didn't have any on hand. So I'm going to add some of that. I'm also going to add a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to throw in just a little bit more salt. Just a little bit because you don't want to overpower it. You can always add more salt, but you can't really take it back, if you know what I mean. So now I want to thicken this up a little bit. So I'm going to add, you can add up to a quarter, or I'm going to do a third of a cup of flour and you can go all the way up to a half a cup if you want it super super thick but I find a third of a cup is pretty good for me it's it's not like it's like a, it's a little less than a gravy consistency but not watery either so I'm just gonna let this flour cook in here for about a minute or so so it's cooked down for about a minute and then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of cooking sherry now, you don't need to add this. Some people don't want to, and that's fine. You can add a little bit of white wine if you don't want any alcohol at all. Um, that's okay, too. Um, I understand, and it's not going to affect the taste too, too drastically, but it's just better with it. And about 99% of that alcohol cooks off. Now to this, I'm going to add the beef stock. I'm going to go with about six cups. <laughs> A sixth cup. And I'm going to put this down to a uh, strong simmer, and I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes. It's reduced down quite a bit. And look how much thicker it's gotten. So, what I'm going to do at this point is now you can use an immersion blender in this or you can use what I'm going to use, a Vitamix uh, or a blender of some type or a food processor. But basically what I want to do is I want to remove about half of that what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to skim a lot of those mushrooms, the thicker ones. Because this is a soup. It will be a little chunky. I'm not going to get them all. I want to get a lot of those mushrooms and put them right into the Vitamix. And I'm going to take about half of the remaining liquid, and I'm going to blend it up. I put about half of the soup in here, and I have blended it up. Just for a while to make it smooth. This is going to help thicken the soup up as well. So we're back over at the remaining soup, and I'm going to pour 
It's that blended mixture right in. Wow. This just <laughs> absolutely smells incredible. If you could uh, be here to get some of this, it's crazy good. So I'm going to stir that up. Kind of incorporate everything together. So you still have some mushroom in there that will give you a little bit of a bite. But most of it is just creamy goodness. But we're not done yet, folks. So we've got it back up just a little bit to a medium heat. I've actually got it on medium low. And now what is cream of mushroom without the cream? So I'm going to add to this about one cup of heavy cream. Mix that in. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say up to about a half a teaspoon if you want, or a little less, of ground nutmeg. That is just going to, you know, a little bit of nutmeg goes a long way. I just want to incorporate that in there. And this soup is ready. Well, over the weekend, I went tag sailing and I found these beautiful bowls. They're tiny, but they're nice. And to that, I'm going to add about a half a cup of the soup. And to top that, I have some mushrooms that I put aside. And I'm just going to put a few of those on there. And there we have the cream of mushroom soup. Wow, that is so good. It's creamy, delicious, so satisfying on a cool evening. Just a little serving will do you. I know it has a lot of cream and things in it. But it's all about portion. Wow, this is so good. I hope you try it. And when you're making the uh, broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole, you can use canned, but if you go out of your way and you make the soup in addition and you add that soup to it, Wow, it takes it to a whole nother level. And your guests will believe you're a rock star. So you don't get to put much in your stomach. You got to watch your portions. So I feel that what you put in mm, has got to be worth it. It's got to be complete quality. So thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. That'll be coming up next. Have a good day. This is, this is so good. Mmm, 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 mmm.